Hey guys, this is iMaster, and today I'm going to be telling you how to get your uh, desktop customized like mine with things such as the date, time, temperature, system processes, and even a picture of your favorite pet. Okay, so first thing you need to go do is go to this website, um, projects. Ah, projects.tinso.org forward slash en forward slash geek tool uh, forward slash I'll put a link in the description so you don't have to remember all of that alright so you can go ahead and click download it is uh, Mac only but there are some very um, similar Windows uh, programs such as um, I think rain meter is one um, Samurai's is another one I believe um, so you can look into those Windows users. Okay, so Geek Tool is a preference pane, which means it'll show up in your system preferences right there, Geek Tool. Okay, and so once you have it installed, you can go ahead and open it. Okay, so I have all of my different um, uh, windows, you could call it. See, each one has its own little area. Um, and they each have different Unix commands. Now, um, I really don't know what Unix is. I've just heard it throughout the internet, searching for geek tool tips and whatnot. So, maybe you know what that is. Maybe you can even write your own. I'm not sure. But, either way, they're Unix commands. The only two exceptions are the picture, the forecast, and the temperature. Okay. But right now, I'm just going to talk to you about how you can customize them. All right. As far as text goes, you can change the color, change the font, and add a frame to it, such as I did with my picture down here. Um, you can center it, uh, align it, add drop shadow, and... I'm not really sure what the icon is. Maybe one of you, someone can let me know if they use this a little bit more. And all of these commands go under shell um, as opposed to file and picture. For the picture, you will obviously pick picture and upload your image to an image hosting site. I use TinyPic, there's PhotoBucket, um, all, all the other ones. And another thing that I really feel stupid about is that when you're first setting it up, don't use this location to change it. I was like moving it by one, like moving it from 264 to 265, and I just feel like the biggest idiot now because you can move them and it will adjust accordingly. So <laughs> let's move on to the forecast and temperature. Now, for these, it's a long code, and you will need to download links. You can download it from the Apple website. Um, I'll post a link in the description to your right. Um, while you're there, go ahead and click subscribe. You know, just might as well. Um, okay, so I'll, I've found a quite a few commands and there's a lot more that you can add such as um, I think you can in, uh, put an iCal calendar on it I've seen people do that um, and there's really even some really cool ones where um, people such as uh, let me go ahead and show you at lifehacker.com great site anyone who hasn't gone there should go now well after you finish this video because yeah um, this guy just makes the coolest backgrounds with um, and integrates them with Geek Tool. He's made two, I believe. Uh, find them. This is one, not the one I was looking for, but this is one. See, he's got his um, stuff down here. But take a look at this one, okay? Um, let's see if I can see, get a full size image of it. He used a, um, I guess you could call it like a comic book article, I guess. And in like the text box, in like the B 
speech bubbles that come out of each person's mouth, he put, like, the Geek Tool stuff. And it looks just so, like, it's meant to be that way. Um, he has this to-do list. Oh, that's another thing. You can, like, dot .txt files. You can put a to-do list or whatever. Um, just, you know, um... There's even ways to get it to display the current song and album art that dis that's displaying in iTunes. I don't listen to my music from iTunes, usually. I um, usually have my iPod playing on my stereo. Um, so this is one that he did. Here's another one. It's a um, train station that... It, it's like on the train, he made the text of the geek tool from the geek tool output look like graffiti. Um, so guys, you can be just so creative. I mean, look at this. It's March 25th at 1127 PM. He has this little world clock going on up here. Um, he's got, let's see, what does that say? PDM. Not sure what that is. He's got the to-do list. He's got, I mean, I'm sure there's even things that I'm not seeing. Let's see, a little calendar right here, you see? He's got his preferences going, charged, or as opposed to not charged. Um, CPU usage, I mean, you can just be so creative with this stuff. Um, so definitely see what you can do with it. Um, give me a comment, video response, show me what you've done with it. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.